All right, what I've got here for you is a really unique little 1982 or 83 Mercedes-Benz 300 TD wagon, the W123 style. This is a Euro model. It has the Euro bumpers and everything. And it also has a four-speed manual transmission with the 300D motor. Amazing little car. Just is so fun to drive. Um, never had a wagon in a manual. And it is definitely cool to drive. Um, really neat for hills and stuff, being able to downshift versus that automatic. Um, the car's in great shape. It's not all rusty or anything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do kind of a once around for you and then I'll go up close and show you any minor details, minor flaws on the car. Someone sure took care of it. Um, got the hitch on it too. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm missing two hubcaps as you can see there. All the chrome on it's good. You can call me anytime. It's Nathan at 406-544-6919. And um, I help you import, export this right to your country. And check out my website. It's www.serialmarshmallows.com. And click on blog when you get there. You can also check out MissoulaAutoAuction.com. I don't get all my stuff on there. Um, I've usually got about 160 in stock. And... Probably about 30 to 50 on my site at any given time. Um, the paint's in great condition. Um, there's a dent right there. Hard to see. Mismatched set of tires, but they're all in great shape. Little titties over the sides of all of them. Um, there's some something that flecked on it. And I'm sure to come off, but I haven't tried. The rubber's in great shape, as you can see there. I think it's been stored indoors. Underneath it, great shape. Don't leak all over the place. I'm sure you find a wet gasket or something somewhere, but I put a new grill on it. Gotta love the shorter Euro bumpers. And like I say, the rubbers and everything are in great shape. Um, there's the one where you're missing the hubcap. That'll probably be my thumbnail instead of one with the hubcap on it. Undercoating's in great shape on the car. Factory undercoating. Not all chipped off and everything. A few minor dings in the side here. A um, little scratch here. A couple little chips there. And I try to show you everything. I might miss the tiniest little scratch or something, but for the most part I get all the dings and scratches and all that to show you. Little chips like you always get on these. This he scraped it right there. He sure did a good job of not messing it up though, just barely scraping it. Very rare car in the Euro model. Oh, some vibrations, a couple of your mounts. I put, I told my guys to put new gaskets on. They put one there, they missed this one. And as you can see, it's gonna cause a little bit. There's one up front to do. And I'll get them. Um, got the hitch on it and the wiring for your hitch. Like I say, the rubber all looks good. This light's all intact and good. Don't know how they got that red one in there, how that happened or works. And that one is cracked. Let me take you for a test drive. We've got the popo coming here. So I'm gonna. Oh. Just while oh, they're here. Whew. Can't get that seatbelt out in enough time. Okay, sorry about that. I'll continue that on another spot here, and you can hear that little vibration I was talking about. When you accelerate a little bit, it goes right away. Huh, 
sorry about that. Got a little off track there with the police coming by. And you can catch me anytime. It's 406 544 6919. And my name's Nathan. Also, um, check out my website, like I say, it's www.cerealmarshmallows.com and click on the blog when you get there and you can see a lot of the stuff I have for sale. And I'm going to go up here and show you the insides. I'll continue showing you the outsides there where I kind of stopped. nice driver. Like I've said a couple times here, the four speed is nice to have on the diesel. And the key, you turn it off and you gotta kinda make sure that you hit that spot. Well, I let the clutch out too far it in gear. I wanted to show you that it kind of is getting off a little bit to where it doesn't want to engage or disengage the correct way. Little marks in the windshield from the wipers. Dash is cracked up a bit. Need a dash mat for that. Or heck, go to the junkyard and get another one of these and tear the dash out and throw in there. Door panels in good condition. A little smudged up there, you can see. Let me get my jacket and move all this out of here. You can see the little stains on the cloth seats. Like right there and right there. And this is separating. Underneath it just as clean as can be. But I had these from another car and put them in. As you can tell, it's a little bit different color. Um, and I can keep them if you don't want them. But yeah, like I say, that's your import sticker. Paul Tracy imported it. And they actually got the replacement VIN number from California there. Back seats are clean. If I had the time here, I'd flip it all down for you. And show you that. Clean underneath, on top, everything. You know, smudged up here and there. I'd get them recovered at some point. I've got some nice wool covers I could throw in for the front if that would help you. I need the hinges worked on on here. This stuff shrinks up on all of them and this one's no different. That leather piece, vinyl piece there, shrunken up. A um, little bit um, smudged and stained on the carpet back here. I could have this replaced really cheap too. Uh, my guy do the carpet and the whole back one of these for, I think he said 140 or 160. I can get the seats redone really cheap. The back here would be about, I think about 230 to 280 to get them all redone. You could go vinyl or cloth. Recaro here. I don't know why there's a Recaro seat on it. Um, let me. That door handle is, it's picky from the outside. And like I say, all this flips up and these flip down for the big old back thing there. And as you can see, a little bit of trash under there. And get this out. And that's why that was off balance. Shows you the dash. These pieces here take it pretty hard on these. Tears in that. I think my buddy is saying, man, I think that maybe this was a, a, B, a UK car. And maybe it was right hand drive, and that's why they had the Recaro on the passengers. Maybe the person on the passengers liked the Recaro. I don't know. Wow, and you got the wrench, original Lackstift. Lackstift. That must mean paint or something in German. I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is touchy too. Very touchy. So, so you know. 
the latch there doesn't like to relatch. I got it latched before, and now I didn't. This piece is falling out. AC blows. It's cool. It's not cold enough, though. Um, I think this is the side we were on when we got interrupted there. Um, little ding here. And this piece of trim is kind of loose on the clips there, as you can see. And other than that, let me show you under the hood. Did I already pop this? I must have. I sure did. Okay, I'm gonna have to set this down for a second. The hood hits a little bit right there. And it's these latches, and you can see it moving in there. It needs to be tightened up a little, and that wouldn't do that. and would have fixed the adjust adjustment. Um, very clean. Looks to have a newer rebuilt injector pump on it. And like I say, I'm sure you'll find a wet gasket or something somewhere. But overall, clean as can be, you don't leak all over. Foam pad on there is all gone. Um, and just besides the little spring work, hinge work, it's all good. Okay, let me set this down again. Sorry about this. My name is Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And, um... Sure is a nice car. Rare with the Euro bumpers and the um, manual. Just a, and it's a rare color. I don't know that I've ever seen another wagon in this color before. But that's pretty much the gist of it there. And my name's Nathan again. It's 406 544. 6919 and you can reach me anytime and I can export this right to your country. I do lots of exporting and can help you with all the quotes and everything it takes for that. I'm trying to get you a good out picture here and a good thumbnail for my video. You can also check out my other site www.missoulaautoauction.com um, Trying to think of anything else. I didn't show you this sunroof. It's got a sunroof, and it's the kind you don't break too. It's the uh, manual ones. That Recaro seat's got all kinds of controls, but they don't seem to be in working order. However, the sunroof is, and it's pretty hard to wear out one of them. The headliner's in great shape. And I put a new grill on it. Um, that was about all we needed to do. Oh, when I put them mats in it. But that's about it. Give me a call anytime. And check out my other videos. I've got all kinds of videos on here. I do lots of unique one and two owner cars. This is represented to me as a one owner car, but I'm pretty sure it's two. Um, but I do lots of good economical Chevy, Oldsmobile, Mercedes, Porsche, you name it. And I tend to get one and two owner stuff. Um, so check out my channel, subscribe, and whenever I get something cool in, you'll get a little email that tells I uploaded something else. And with that being about all I can tell you about this little Mercedes diesel, that's about it. You have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and call anytime, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching.